Shooting USA is brought to you by Hornady Security and the new Ammo Cabinet. Keep your ammunition secure and organized and free up room in your gun safe with the modular Ammo Cabinet by Hornady Security. If you're shooting IDPA competition, you need to know how to quickly perform a reload with retention. Colt Pro Shooter Mark Riddell is ready to show you how. The technique that I just demonstrated is a reload or retention. There's a couple reasons why you should learn and master this skill. Number one, for concealed carry holder, it's very important because when you leave your house, the ammunition you have on your body is all you have. You might need that mag that you put in your pocket and saved. As far as competition shooters, there are some arenas out there that this is a valuable technique in order to win matches. So let's talk about this skill and break it down into the steps I use to learn how to do this repeatedly and reliably. So the first thing we're gonna do is we have empty magazines. We verify that my gun's empty. We're gonna do this dry fire. Magazine in the gun, my spare magazine in the pouch. So I'm up on target. I come back to press the magazine release, take my magazine out. I look, prefer to put it in my pocket because that allows my support hand to index my new magazine perfectly. I come up insert it, come back on target. Now when I'm doing this at home dry fire, I'll take that magazine out of my pocket, put it in the mag pouch, and I'll continue to do these one after the other. What I want to do is get this to the point that I put it in my muscle memory and I can do it all the time. Now let's go live fire. You'll notice in the live fire drill, the techniques and the steps that I did were exactly the same as the dry fire. Even to the point of retrieving the magazine, resetting in my pouch to start to drill over again. What this allows is a short period of time me to establish more and more muscle memory movements that allows me to master this skill. As I'm walking up to these targets, I see something I really like. All of my hits are in center mass. Very important to me when I'm learning a skill to still maintain my accuracy and focus. You'll also notice when I'm doing a drill like this, I work from left to right, right to left. You should learn this skill going both directions. It's very important. As in dry firing and live fire, I did not use a timer. Not until I have learned this skill and I can do it repeatedly with good muscle memory, would I even go get a timer? When I'm ready to use a timer, what I'm looking for is shot to shot in between these targets to be about a three second par time. So practice this skill, and when you see me on a range, let me know how you're doing. Thanks, Mark. Now, a note from the Legends of the Outdoors Awards Banquet where I got to present the Legacy Award to son John, recognizing his 26 years of service to become the guy who is leading Shooting USA into the future. What's it like to work for Jim Scouting? Well, he will set you straight. If you have a creative idea, if it's a good one, he'll tell you. If it's a bad one, he'll tell you. The best idea so far that he's gotten behind for me is I'm gonna participate in these shooting sports that we cover for Shooting USA as a way to give the audience the idea that they too can participate. And that leads me to the two things that I hear from people that absolutely warm my heart. Number one, I'm here at this match because I saw you shooting it and I came to try it out. And number two, we love your show and we love your dad. So do I. I can assure you that feeling is mutual. So for all of us, shoot safely, shoot often, and keep them in the 10 ring.
You've made it this far in the video, and for that, we thank you. If you're enjoying the content, please consider subscribing. It helps the channel, and we'll keep the uploads coming.